This is Spa-Francorchamps, but not as you know it, because this is a karting version of this infamous Formula One circuit. It is quite literally a miniature version of the real-life Spa, purpose-built for go-karts. But today, at least first of all, we're going to be taking a bunch of F1 23 cars around the karting version of Spa to see if this epic circuit still holds up in miniature form. This is going to go just about as well as you think it is. I mean, look how tiny this is. Like, this legit is miniature. About two and a half car widths as we go to lights out for the karting version of Spa. I'm going to take it very easy from last place on the ground. Oh, okay. There's already a massive traffic jack. Lads, can we... Can we get it get through? Nope. Spinning the tires is not going to help Alpine. And now everyone is smoke. And we've got a smoke show. So, you know, in conclusion, Verstappen fans, you don't need to bring the orange flares to Formula 1 circuits. When it's a karting circuit, the F1 cars can do the smoke show for you. Now, there is a scenario where we can actually make it through turn one. I've seen it myself. I've witnessed it. We can actually have a somewhat of a semblance of a race uh, at some point. It's just a bit of potluck if the AI can get through turn one. I can definitely do it with a bit of a wide turning circle. And we are getting through, getting through. Come on, lads. Push, push, push. No, Red Bull. What are you doing? Wait. Oh, okay. The problem was the Mercedes just being very realistic to F1 2023, you know. Just smoking away like it did in Australia. All right, third time's the charm. I believe, I believe we can make it through turn one, guys. We can do this. We can have an F1 race at a karting version of Spa. Come on. Right. Easy. Everyone remain calm. Remain calm. Yep. Oh, God. No. No. Calm. Car. Push through it. Yep. Okay. Okay. We, we all made it. Not cleanly, but we made it. Side by side. Down the inside at the Mini Rouge. Up Radion. I've been punted into the wall. By Sonoda and the Astons had to take to the grass, but we've somewhat made it through. Let's just continue because there is probably going to be more chaos here as we go down that mini Kemmel straight. Very much just second gear needed for most of these corners. That long right hander, I mean, it's as disgusting on this karting track as it is in real life for understeer there. Then through Puon, which isn't so flat out anymore but we can get a little bit of speed going up to third gear you know at that corner that we were really turning up the speed then we come through the winding section before opening up the taps on the back straight through Bonchimon and to the bus stop chicane having to break mid corner and fifth gear and we haven't even got up to sixth gear the entire time we've done this lap but that was a karting lap of Spa and we've got some catching up to do. And to be fair, you know what? Now that the AI aren't getting stuck with each other, they're actually doing not too bad. And I'm actually, I can't actually catch them. They're actually quicker than me around this. How does that make sense? They're that good. The AI line coded into this circuit is that good that they're doing so well. Come on, surely there's going to be a kerfuffle at some point. We are gaining a little bit on, I think that's the Alpine ahead of us. No, no, <laughs> this turning circle. Oh, there is a bit of dust being kicked up every corner. Surely we are gaining a little bit. I'm gaining confidence. I'm finding the right racing lines through these corners. And we're having to go over the, well, quite cute mini tyres on the inside of every apex. Nice little touch there. Very much like a real karting circuit. Right, let's really open up the taps here a little bit and gain. Here we go. We're catching. We've got three more laps to go. We can actually maybe make some overtakes here as we go through the bus stop. Do I dare make a move at turn one? I'm going for it. Oh, in the move at turn one. We've made it. We've made it. We made an overtake at the tiny turn one. Up Mini Rouge and Radion again. And we've actually gained a bit on the Haas. DRS is available. Didn't, is DRS really going to be that handy down that mini, mini Kemmel straight? As the Haas actually defends me very, very well. We're actually getting some pretty good wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing here with the Haas as we go down the inside. I feel like around a karting circuit like this. 
a little bit of argy bargy is needed as the Haas cuts the corner to try and keep ahead of me. And we saw it coming from a mile off. We did the textbook little switch from right to left. And now I can see all of the top guys. I, I, well, unless there's another car ahead of that Ferrari. I think this is the top four. I think we could be in frame for a podium here. The Ah! The Alpha! What are you doing? No! Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right. All our progress has been undone with that one love tap. But it's fine. We can recompose. Two more laps to go. Oh my god, nearly re-ended the Williams. Okay, I'm going to commit to these corners a bit more on this lap. I want to over re-overtake these three cars, including the Alpha. I failed to overtake. The Williams has had a mare up the top of the hill. DRS, what an unbelievable move. And now the dive bomb. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nearly got the Haas. We're going to drive over the tyres because they don't seem to be much of an issue, to be honest, in terms of how much they unsettle the car. Okay, easy. Oh, God, this Haas is going to piss me off. I want to get past him, but he's blocking. It's difficult. It's difficult around the karting circuit. Who would have thought that we're gone for it? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, dear. Okay. See, when you've spun round on a karting circuit with a big F1 car, difficult to spin yourself round. Right, commit. Commit to Ur Rouge. It's flat out in real life. No. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Where have we ended up? Okay, this version of Ur Rouge and Radion was... Very much not flat out. That was um, that was poor from us. I, I don't know where we've ended up. We've ended up in the grandstand at the top of the hill. And now my wheel is actually dangerous. Can you... Oh, is it moving still? I thought you could maybe hear my wheel for a second there, probably. On the microphone. Where are we going? Oh, my... Well, um... Karting Spa ended as well as you thought it would. In the abyss. Let's just watch this from off board committed flat out like you would in real life to Ur Rouge and we've gone straight through yeah we went through into the grandstand new area um to be fair I'm quite you know and now we're just looking at the car park I I'm quite impressed the karting spa has the new grandstand at the top of the hill like a real life spa does it's 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 a nice little detail you know they all add up feel like we should now actually try some actual carts on the karting version of spa you know just you know probably how it was meant to go right this is going to be a very different experience a lot less wide and big boy giga car and more aptly sized here we go oh stonking star even got a little bit oh my god i'm not used to this leaning in the cockpit here we go really shifting now come on right uh rouge this one's out it's actually <laughs> it's a little bit <laughs> it's a bit sketchy now it's actually quite quite daunting actually works quite well the scaling um, that hill actually looked a bit large now on board of this little car. And that straight is actually quite long. Who would have thought? Right, it's a very bumpy circuit. I'm really not used to driving this shifter car at all. Try and roll it in. Doesn't really drive like a actual go-kart with a very distinct lack of power steering. Power on to steer, steer myself around the corner. But we're going to try our best to catch up to p Whoa! why do i always end up here man so confident in my skills that we are literally now just doing a one lap race i set that previous race to five laps that was way too ambitious clearly in these carts that, that literally just take every single little nook and cranny bump on this circuit one lap is enough this time not such a great start and there's a couple of drivers to try and overtake. Let's see if we can commit a bit more to a uh, Oh, ho, ho! God, two people went for it. It's not just me. It's not just me. That proves it. That proves it. This circuit's deadly. Puon. Oh, Puon's a real challenge in an actual cart. Let me come through to the technical. Right, left. On the grass. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, just trying to survive the lap. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. And also the movement of the camera is really putting me off. Not used to this in the F1 car. Through Blanchemont to the bus stop. It is a big break zone. 
in this cart and then it actually feels like a bit of a challenge to turn this thing. Oh, they've had a mare! Oh, can we get first? Is this us? Did they both crash on the last corner? I think we what Did we win? Oh, oh, there's even some uh, fan fit. Did we win? Did we win? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Back to the pits. We won! <laughs> oh, my God. Well... Who got the last laugh then? I did. They may have got to the last corner before me, but they all had a mare. And who didn't? This man. This man right here. Guys, if you have enjoyed that very silly video, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. When you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.